Jason, share with us about Pet Cemetery. Yeah, so Pet Cemetery is uh, a remake of a movie based on a uh, Stephen King book that came out a long time ago. And this particular movie, uh, basically it takes place as a, a character, uh, Lewis Creed, who's a, a doctor uh, that originates from Boston. And uh, the movie kind of picks up with he and his wife and two children um, kind of moving into a house out in, uh, I believe it's Ludlow, Maine, uh, somewhere very, mm -hmm. very different atmosphere from the life they're used to. You know, they're they're in a very busy Boston kind of fast paced situation, and and he's looking to to kind of slow things down is is what they say uh, in the movie. So he's looking to go to this more you know rural place out in the middle of nowhere. He's he's gonna be the doctor at the hospital there, so looking for a quieter life. And you know, as they you know enter this house and and kind of begin moving in and and settling down they they begin to to go through some some weird stuff and it it basically starts with the the daughter and the wife are are kind of outside the house and they notice some or rather the daughter notices a a group of children uh kind of in a procession uh through the woods near their house uh, and they're wearing these kind of weird masks and, you know, one of the kids has like a wheelbarrow with, uh, you know, an animal in it. And, you know, basically they find out, you know, through one of their, their neighbors that this is, uh, they're in the property that they have with their, their land, they have something like 40 acres of property that comes with this house that they, they purchased and moved into. And on that property is a, a pet cemetery. Uh, it, it's been there for a very, very long time, and the the kind of the children of the the community, when a when a pet is deceased, they they have sort of a ritual where, you know, they'll wear these kind of very old, creepy looking masks, and they'll go through the woods, and you know, they dig a plot and place the pet, and so basically, the community's pets are basically buried on their property somewhere and it's been done for for generations so the you know the daughter is is very intrigued by that and and curious and she kind of ends up you know wandering off and exploring and that's where she meets their neighbor who is is played by uh John Lithgow which I I didn't realize that he was in the movie so when I saw him I was actually quite surprised I think um his character, I really liked him in in this movie. I thought he played a really, uh, really interesting guy because you're not, as you watch the movie, you're not really sure whether or not you trust him um, as a person. He he kind of gives up a, a vibe where like he seems friendly, but at, at least as the viewer, uh, I always had these kind of feelings of like, mm, this guy, he's like, he's, I feel like he's up to something nefarious. Other movies, uh, other horror movies have trained you, I think, in that. I think so. Regard. Like, you're, you're used yeah. to, like, the creepy guy that lives alone. He's usually living alone for a reason because he, like, butchered his wife and murdered the kids. She's and, in like, the basement. You know, <laughs> yeah, she's, like, chained up his daughter for 20 years and, right. you know, you know, feeds her, like, fish heads or something crazy. Uh, so, like, when you come across him... You know, the, the little girl is in, you know, the cemetery and like, you know, she, she gets hurt or stumbles or something like that. So there's like this tense moment where like this guy that you're not aware of yet kind of shows up and like the little girl is obviously, you know, somewhat concerned. And, you know, in the moment, you know, he plays it as just like a concerned neighbor, but you're not, you're not quite sure, you know, from that point. Um, and, and then the movie kind of from there you begin to learn a little bit more about uh, the, the, the oddness of the property that they, they live on. Um, and, and some of the other, uh, I don't know, I don't know the right word. Uh, mystical nature, perhaps. Well, I think it's, I don't think it's a spoiler necessarily to say that there's a part of the property, like a, a burial ground on the property that because their their cat gets hit by a car or something church. like that church their the cat, cat church yeah. and and jed seeing how attached to the cat they are 
says, hey, come with me and we'll go bury the cat tonight. Yeah. Yeah, Jared's, he's trying to be helpful. Yeah. Yeah, he, and he knows how much the cat meant to the little girl. And, and he's this, like, you know, you love your daughter. She loved the cat. And so the whole premise of the me. movie is they bury this cat and they bury it in the, the special burial ground, like past the pet cemetery. It's all eerie and stuff like that. You have to bury it in a certain past way. A freaky swamp. And yeah, it's yeah, and it fog bring, and burying things that way brings them back to life. But it doesn't bring them back to life in the same way. Yeah. They are they are changed. Yeah. They're different somehow. Um, yeah. So the the whole premise of the movie is that it, it's knowing knowing that that happens, Lewis and his family. Uh, what I'm not going to say, an, another tragedy befalls them, and he has to make the choice of whether or not to. I think the trailer to, to utilize that, that. but yeah, I, I don't want to go too deep in it if you don't know the, yeah, the book yeah, story yeah. or whatever, but. But yeah, and so and so then like the whole second half of the movie is like what happens after this this mm -hmm. major event that happens to their yeah. family happens. Yeah. Yeah, Jason, what did you think? Um let me I, ask I, you this first before yeah. you go into that. Did you ever see the 1989 version? I don't believe I ever did. No. Okay. So this was very fresh to me. So I don't I don't have any uh vision to how closely it you know, mirrored the original or how, you know, verbatim or not it was with the book. You know, it could be very little reference to the book. I wouldn't know either way. But just on the movie on its own, um, I, I liked the movie. Uh, I felt it to be very uh, creepy. Um, there's a lot about the movie that just gives you like, uh, you know, it's it's like an uneasy feeling. You know, certain events, certain characters, things you meet. Uh, and and kind of the the backstory as you as it gets revealed like there's just events that happen and you're like it's not like scary like the the kind of jump scare scary to me but it's just like you watch it and you're like oh man that's just like it's it's like a, there's a disturbingness to to some of what you know kind of goes on yeah so <laughs> whenever we give reviews of movies i always play russian roulette to decide what order we're going to go in as we give these <laughs> as we give these reviews and so i'm going to go first here brian um so i i i won't say i disliked the movie but i will say i it was not as good as i expected it to be okay. um, i was wanting more i was wanting it to be creepier i didn't think it was that creepy um to me the creepy parts most of the creepy parts were in the trailer Beyond that, I didn't find any of, of those other aspects to be as as scary. Um, I, I went into this really wanting a horror, um, and it wasn't to me a real horror. Hmm. Um, and so I think maybe my expectations were too high, um, or my now, my vision of it was different than what it should have been, I guess. Have you seen the original? I haven't. I haven't okay, seen the so original. I didn't know if that, and I was yeah, trying to remember if I'd read the book, and I actually don't think I've read this book. I've read a couple other. Stephen I went King through and read a, uh, but I did a synopsis of it afterwards because I wanted to know where the film changed things from the book. Okay, gotcha. So okay. I did a, I did a pretty detailed read through of the of the plot summary of the okay. book. Okay, so that was that's where it left me. I was a little disappointed. Again, I'm not going to say I did. It was it wasn't a bad movie. It just um, wasn't what I, you expected to see. A couple things, I guess, from an acting perspective, I didn't like most of the acting in it, um, with the exception of John Lithgow. Um, I thought John Lithgow was a beast, and I, th I mean, I like almost anything John Lithgow does, um, and I thought he did a really good job in this in this movie. I liked his role a lot, um, uh, and I and I will say. Um, the the little girl i did like the little girl um her acting in it um, she's good yeah so so beyond those two i didn't think it was great um so i i don't know in the end i was slightly disappointed with this movie brian um i had some problems with it i wouldn't say that i was necessarily disappointed or disliked it um i enjoyed a good chunk of it i i actually enjoyed um it more before the tragedy happens to the family um mm -hmm. i really liked actually most of the actors in this movie jason clark i thought did a, a 
to me, he did a really good job as the oh, dad. Um, yeah. And I was actually going to make the comment uh, during this review that I, I wish he was in more and better things because I think he's he's kind of wasted in some of these like middling okay movies and i feel like he could be in really good stuff he just needs you know better choice make better choices or something but um the things that bothered me um there's a component to this movie that they established that the after they bury the cat like this place is supposed to have some sort of pull to you like you're supposed to be a sort of addicted to what the power does um that or what the power can do for you uh in a way so they didn't and they mentioned that once or twice i think jed mentions mentions that and they don't really show that a whole lot until like later on in the movie and it just kind of comes from out of nowhere so i i feel like they could have built up um lewis's pull to whatever the supernatural thing or the supernatural power is yeah. that you know brings things back to life um so I didn't feel a whole lot of it there and I felt the actual the actual filmmaking around when the uh the tragedy happens was kind of amateurish. Um they did this yeah. really this really fake slow motion where everything gets kind of blurry and it doesn't it didn't look that good to me and it didn't really have the emotional it, hit it that I was hoping like, it would. It felt kind of like, hokey TV movie-ish to me. It felt expected. I don't know. That's not the right word, but like predictable. Maybe that's more what I'm thinking. Like, I mean, from a from a narrative out. standpoint, maybe. But I I'm just talking about like the technical aspects of it. it from just, a filming perspective, just, just the yeah. way that it was shot was kind of like not good. I felt that same way when they were taking the cat to be buried, as they're going through the swamp. That I felt the same way. There were some looked, really bad, like green screen looking stuff. In this, I thought it was in really too. bad green. Yeah. They're, they're standing on this cliff, and it looks like they're standing on, um, like a blue Big tarp rock. in a yeah. yeah in a sound studio, and everything else is put back behind them. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Something yep. with the angles was off, and it just kind of made it look not very good. Yeah. Um, and then I, it was only an hour and forty minute long movie. I felt like they could have probably fleshed some of this stuff out and made it a little longer. Um. There's an article, I believe, on Slash Film that has a breakdown of some of they. They're already talking about deleted scenes of this movie that they're gonna sh that they're gonna put out. Interesting. And some of those scenes sound really interesting, and I wish that they were in the movie. And so, um, so yeah, there's some sound <laughs> from somebody. There we go. Um, so I felt like some of these scenes could have been in the movie, and maybe something behind the scenes made it like there was some struggles in the editing room to find the movie and it just didn't work really well so i would say it was okay i I think i'm more with you jared um i liked a lot of it but the parts that i that bothered me kind of really bothered me they were enough to kind of mess up the movie um it wasn't scary at all like you said but um i definitely felt the creep factor i think that that jason was saying so i yeah. don't know I, i'm kind of on, on both minds of that and i didn't mind that it wasn't um like super horror scary i, I kind of like yeah, the I atmosphere think, that they were building but i think my expectation for most horror movies are that i'm probably not going to enjoy them <laughs> because i feel like so many of them kind of rely on the same tactics and kind of like you know tried and true approaches I will say they, so the one thing that that they did well in this was not use the jump factor yeah like yeah. they didn't do that at all like i don't think there was any not point really. in time when i thought they were trying to excuse me trying to maybe do a once, jump scare um, you know with the cat yeah, maybe like, it's like a fake out jump like scare yeah. yeah yeah um but but they didn't do that too much which which i was i was grateful for and you can so, kind of tell the story is like a relic of a of an older older time style because yeah. it's a it's another one of those horror movies that it revolves around like an ancient indian burial ground causing bad things <laughs> Kinda, to happen right? yeah. well that like was really... the thing in the 80s right that's yeah. that's how they did it Those darn know, engines. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah ancient burial grounds gotta love them yeah um so there you have it pet cemetery um maybe go see it not a bad movie <laughs> yeah i mean we were you know yeah I mean, it was it fine it's, it's, it's a decent movie i don't think any of us it's thought not, it was a bad no. movie so yeah um yeah it's it's maybe something you wait for red box you know you don't you don't need to don't need to see it in theaters per se but um there you go pet cemetery 